Now, Shepard Smith reporting live from the Fox News Desk. Let's bring in a lawyer, criminal defense attorney, John Manuel, and Manuel, Manuelian joins us now, and he's live in Los Angeles. John, there's a lot of evidence against this guy. There is. There's a lot of evidence. And the problem in this case is, I think, not so much what Michael Dunn did, but what uh, his fiance, Rhonda Rauer, said. Right. Remember, during testimony, she disputed what uh, Michael Dunn said, specifically that he mentioned the gun, which is the entire reason he got out of the car and shot. His subjective belief was that he was going to get killed. But if he was going to get killed, why wouldn't he mention it to his uh, fiance at any point? And then, as you mentioned, Shep, you have the consciousness of guilt, the flight from the scene, and then you have him not calling the police. All of that is going to be considered by the jury from a humanist perspective. But from an analytical point of view, if they believe him, uh, if they believe that he reasonably believed that there would be a fear or I should say an imminent danger to his life, then they could acquit him. And that could come through some of the testimony, including a 911 call from Christopher LeBlanc, who said that he saw a red SUV go around and allegedly stash or put something away. But from uh, the humanist perspective, they may use your, their common sense as the prosecutor stated and convict him of these counts. You, you know, one of the points of contention here is the suspect says that the kids threatened to kill him. Uh, but there were witnesses to this to this verbal exchange, and one of the witnesses says that he didn't threaten to kill him, and and the suspect came back and said to him, uh, "Are you talking to me?" But instead, he said, I, "I you can't talk to me like that." In other words, they said things to him he didn't like, and the accusation is he got out his gun, he shot three times, the car started to move, he shot six more times, then the car was down the road, and he aimed and fired, and he took out two of the tail lights. I mean, shooting a fleeing person, that moment when you stop shooting for four or five seconds, that's your moment of premeditation, isn't it? That could be the argument, but uh, Shep, during the closing arguments, uh, D.A. Wolfson mentioned there was rage and anger. Those words are indicative to me of voluntary manslaughter, not premeditation. Even if he did say, I hate that thug music, it shows the anger in the person, and maybe he didn't have a cooling off period or a moment to reflect, which is why I think that the voluntary manslaughter and the attempted voluntary manslaughter are certainly charges that the jury may find and sustain a conviction against Michael Dunn for. That, you know, it's possible. The jury has it. They've asked a couple of questions today. They've been at it I think, a little bit more than eight hours, so if we get anything on it, we'll bring it to you. Uh, Manuel, you're nice to see you. Thank you. All right.